Hi everyone, Rad Drew here. I want to take you through a short tutorial on uh, one of my favorite apps for stylizing images called Distressed FX. It has a lot of great um, overlays and textures um, that allow you to add tone and vintage looks and um, d just a lot of different effects to, to your images. To, uh, to access the app, I'm going to take my finger and slide down in the center of my uh, phone screen and I'm going to type in FX up there in the search bar and you notice when I do that there is distressed FX pops up right at the top. I'm going to go ahead and um, select that and this is what the app looks like. Um, it opens with this dummy uh, image of a barn. Now if you've if you've just been using it it will open up with the last image that um, that you were working on in the app. So to get started, we're going to go up first to the icon up in the upper left. Looks like a camera. And I'm going to tap on that and, excuse me, to get one of the images that we're going to work on. So it's asking me if I want to take a picture or get one from my camera roll. So I am going to go to the camera roll. And I'm going to choose my favorites album because I've already selected this image of the tree right here. Oop, there we go. And there it is in, um, in Distressed FX. And if I wanted to use the original image as it is right there, I would just go ahead and tap Done in the upper right-hand corner now. But down below that, you'll notice uh, it says Constrain. If I tap on Constrain, I have all these different options of aspect ratios that I could choose uh, for that image. I'm going to just go with the original, so uh, I'm going to hit Done. And if, if you're going to use the original, you don't have to open up the Constrain um, options. You just go ahead and tap done. And there's our image in Distressed FX. So let's take a minute and go around the icons in this app and kind of familiarize ourselves with all these different um, buttons on here. The first one is the one we already used up in the upper left, the camera icon. That's the one you tap when you want to go get an image from your camera roll. This next icon that looks like a little circle with an arrow on it, um, you might think that's an undo button. Well, it's not exactly. It, it's an undo button, but it's an undo for everything you've done to the image. So, so if we um, if we tap on it, it'll ask, "Do you wish to reset all unflattened changes?" So, if you haven't um, if you haven't flattened or saved the changes along the way, um, and you hit reset, it will undo all of that. So, you kind of want to use that one carefully. It's I don't use it very often at all, but it, it is there wanted to point that out. The next thing that you have is the magnifying glass. And if we tap on that icon, it enlarges the image so that you can get a closer look at how things are affecting your image. And I'm just using my fingers to pinch in or, or pinch out to get uh, a closer look at things. Um, a useful um, tool. I use it a lot. So I'll click the X to close that up. The next icon is just information about the app, and you can read all about how Cheryl Tarrant uh, built this app, and um, she's just done a great job of creating one of the, I think, one of the neatest apps out there today. Close that up. And then the last icon at the top is our share icon. If I tap on that, this is where I'd go to save the image um, after we're done. Uh, the top arrow pointing down is this, it saves it to your camera roll, and then you can also choose uh, to save to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, email, and so forth. I usually just save to my camera roll. Now below the image, we have a teardrop, the bird icon in the center, and the sliders on the right. If I tap on the teardrop, this allows me to um, select an area. And again, I'm just using my fingers to pinch. And, oops, didn't mean to do that. Select an image. I can drag this around to position it wherever I want and use my fingers to enlarge it. And the slider down here lets me set a blur. And you notice everything outside of the circle now is very blurred, but what's inside the circle is not. So it's a way of giving you, allowing you to select a subject and then blur everything around it. And you can control how deep that blur is with this slider right here. So I'm going to go ahead, you know, the check mark saves it, the X um, discards it. I'm going to click the X for now. The next item we have here is the bird. Um, I'm going to tap on that, and I'm going to go back over here. 
you can see we've got the original birds and then you have several different packets of things that you can purchase, including trees that you can add into your image. So um, the way this works, we've all, uh, you've probably played with this in some images or seen birds in images. Um, if we go back, let's see. I wanna select, oops, there we go. There's our birds and tap on that. We come down here. Oh, let's just pick, uh, I don't know, these three birds. You can then take your finger and drag them around. You can use your two fingers and size them, make them smaller. And then you can use the slider down here to fade them out or back in. So you can kind of control the uh, opacity of those and how intense they appear in the image. Again, check mark saves and X discard. So I'm going to discard that one for now. The next thing over here are the sliders on the right, the little um, sliders that are there in the circle. If I tap on that, we have sliders. If we look at the ones on the image, here's a brightness slider. By sliding up and down, I can control the brightness there. On the right, there's a contrast slider, so I can increase or decrease the contrast in the image. And then on the bottom, there's a color slider, and I can take it all the way down, or I can increase it. It's going to perform a little differently depending on the textures or gels that you have selected, um, but that, basically that's how it operates. So I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark here, or the X rather. And below, we have two different rows of gels on the top, or, or overlays, and textures on the bottom. And as we select these, you can see how um, each time I tap, it's choosing a different, a different look. Um, you can tell which one is selected. It's marked with the two little circles there. You can kind of see as I change different ones. Um, if we go all the way to the end over here, you'll see there's a suitcase. And if I tap on that suitcase icon, I can go out and I can purchase or select other packets of um, of overlays. So there's the original overlays that came with the first time the app came out. And then there's this one called um, The Heavens. There's a package called Boca Illusions. And then there's the one that we currently have selected called The Lights. Um, so I'll go back. And um, again, we can just keep choosing different ones here until we find the one we like. I like that one right there. Now, you can combine the gel with selections of various textures as well. So I'm going down here and selecting textures from this um, collection. This is also the original collection of textures. Um, and I know that just because I'm kind of familiar with these textures. But um, if we were to click on the suitcase again and come out here, you notice there's originals, there's obscura, uh, obscura, there's sky, uh, sky Beauty, all these different ones here that I've purchased, and they're all available in the App Store. So let's go back. So as we select these different um, gels and textures, we can then go back up to our sliders here to control how those interact with the image. So I'm going to tap on the sliders. And again, over here on the left, I can control the brightness of the image. On the right, I can control the contrast, and you can see how the, the look changes. It was just very subtle uh, changes in that slider. And then I can also control the color by sliding this bottom slider. So I kind of like that over there on the left, maybe a little more contrast, and something like that. Now that's, that um, allows us to control brightness, color, and contrast, but if we go down to the sliders below, we have a slider for the gels on the top, and I can slide that and control how intense that gel is uh, with the image also. And the same is true with the um, textures at the bottom. So you can control how much of that texture shows through and how it works with the gel. And you know, each of these gel and texture combinations are so different that very slight changes in, the, in these sliders can result in really big changes in the image. So once you get everything the way you want it, you tap the X and you now have your image, um, your, new, your new image here. Um, let's say if I wanted to add 
uh, a couple birds. I would go out here and let's choose these two right here. Drag them down, maybe make them a little smaller, just a little. Maybe fade them out a little bit, something like that. And that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and say yes to that. Now, what if I wanted to add a blur to this too? I would go ahead and tap over here on the, um, the little blur icon, the little um, droplet, and I can increase or decrease the size of my circle. Now, let's say I want to slide it over to where the tree and the birds are, are not blurred and then everything else around them is. So you can see, if you look outside the circle, you can see the blur. So I'm gonna back that off and kind of play with it until I get, get right about, maybe about right there. So I don't wanna have a real intense drop off into blur, but just a subtle blur is good. So there we go. So there's our image, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go up now and save that to my camera roll. I'll tap on the arrow in the top right and I'll tap on the down arrow at the top, and there it's saved our image in the camera roll. So let's go out and take a look. And there's our image. If we zoom in, we can see how the blur is around, kind of a vignetted blur around the edges, and the tree and the birds are sharp. Let's go back to distressed FX. So one of the other things I wanna show you here, I'm gonna go back out in the textures I'm gonna click on the suitcase and go back out here. And you notice we have all these different options that we can have. Well, the one at the top is the original textures. And for what I'm about to show you, you have to have original textures selected in order to, um, in order to do this particular thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select original textures. And when I do that, it loads the original textures in here. And over at the end of the original textures, between the last texture and the suitcase, you notice there's a download arrow. If I tap that download arrow, it, whoops, it takes me out to all my, my camera roll and all my albums. Well, when I slide down in the albums, I've created one out here in my albums called textures. And when I tap on that, these are, these are actually flypaper textures that I purchased for use with um, some of my big camera images. But I just moved these JPEG files over to my phone into this album. And now I can use these textures in Distressed FX. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here with the heart on it. Kind of an uh, orange glowing center. I'm going to tap on that. Come on. There we go. Did I get it? Let's go back to that. It didn't look right to me. Let's go back to textures. Tap on that. There we go. That much, looks much better. I don't think it took. Okay, so now we've added this texture. No longer are we using the textures in Distress FX. We're using a custom texture that we loaded in. And by the way, you know, this is a purchase texture, but you can create your own textures by photographing, you know, um, different surfaces. Uh, sky, uh, rusty tanks, whatever, you can come up with some really cool textures of your own and you could use those in this way. So in the same way we, we adjusted textures before or adjusted how they interacted, I'm gonna tap on my sliders here and I can now begin to brighten that image, play with my contrast, my tone. I could darken that image and make the tree a silhouette with those birds there, that's kind of cool. You got a lot of different options. Then I can come down to the sliders in my gel and change how that plays with the image. And I can also tone down, if I want, the texture that we just uploaded. I kind of like the texture full, and I kind of like something maybe like that. Again, this is where you get to play and um, exercise your own creative vision, but um, I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay to that. I'm going to click the, the, the uh, X and now we have this new image that we could save out to our camera roll. Before I do that I'm going to show you one last thing that's pretty cool about this app. Um, if I take my finger and hold it down on the screen I get a choice here to flatten the, the image if I wish. Well what does that exactly mean? Well if I flatten the image what it's going to do is take 
the textures, the filters, um, and those gel layers and everything that we have and, and flatten them into one single image. So if I do that, now we have one image in here and I can begin to lay on new additional gels and textures. So on top of what we already had there. So, whoa, that's a crazy one. So, so you can start to see we're starting to get into some, there we go, that's kind of better. So, um, so now what we're doing is we, we created, we flattened the image with the original textures that we had, and now we're adding more textures on top of it. And again, we control it in much the same way, play with our contrast, change our tone through the color slider here. Look, there's kind of a kind of a cool sunrise kind of thing happening maybe or sunset and um, you can drop the sliders in our textures in our gel a little bit to brighten that so there you go so it's just another way of, of adding additional textures to what you already have so you can see you know there's just a lot you can do with this app um, really fun I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and um, Thanks for, for listening, and uh, next time um, we'll do it again, and until then, keep on shooting.